uh, we should never forget as there are these movements now in our uh, legislature that we are a country under God and all authority comes from God. If we forget that, then we are lost. As long as we remember that all authority comes from God, then we are safe. If we live up to that uh, teaching of the Bible, all authority comes from God. So God's will and God's laws should be followed. Now, I heard earlier that uh, there is now a move. Uh, this is dangerous time. These are dangerous times because we cannot meet. We, uh, we meet virtually. So, pwedeng makalusot yung mga hindi dapat makalusot. <laughs> See, we have been talking of the evil spirit. You know, the tilts of the evil spirit ever since from the beginning of mankind and he has not stopped so we continue to pray and do something about it you see what happened to the US Laka, Laka Lusot. <laughs> So sa atin, baka makakalusot din yan. We don't know. Roe versus Wade. Father? Yes? Uh, our bishop who is already retired uh, instituted an apostolate uh, in our diocese. It's called the Apostolate of Good Governance. And then I ask him, what is the importance of good governance in the church? According to him, the good governance is everyone's business, whether it be church or state. And we have the obligation to spread the gospel of good governance to everybody. Do you agree with him? Yes, yes, yes. So, for example, like I'm a member of the core group. We are now trying to incorporate the youth because we found out uh, the youth are under attack from corruption. The youth are already part of the system of, corru of systemic corruption. Yeah. Hist historically, the youth is always the target of manipulators of government. Yes, Father. Because they are the coming generation. Changes in society depends on the changes by generations. So if you get the next generation to follow your mind, then that's what everybody did in the past. The, to to the totalitarian government especially. Now, I just want you to think now, why is it that the target of COVID are the elderly? Diba? And the elderly are not allowed to get out of the house even to consult their doctors even to buy their medicine. Diba? And then why is it that there is so much fuss about vaccines which will be, which will be admit, administered to young people, and very young ones? History has answered these questions. So you you look at history and you will see the pattern. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to, to share.
that vignette because I thought uh, good things should be also recorded and uh, so the younger generation can see what the elders in the past did for them. So you know, Amen. Thank you, Father. To, Thank you, Father. To us. Thank you, Father. Welcome. Um,